What's going on YouTube? King Dennis here. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and try to utilize uh, Pat Max home brewing caps. Um, I bought it at, at the website and also uh, on eBay. Um, it's these caps that you'll be using on uh, these two liter bottles to do your home brewing. Um, and here they use real simple uh, ingredients. Um, we're gonna make hard apple cider. And the one I like to use is the treetop 100% uh, apple juice from Costco. You can get um, two one gallons for a little under uh, $8. Um, so the main thing of uh, doing your home brewing is making sure that everything that you do is 100% sterilized. Um, and I've done that but I might go ahead and dip my hands anyway in here just to make sure uh, everything's sterile. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get some sugar. I like to go ahead and put the sugar inside first. So it says uh, I'm going to go ahead and use half a cup of sugar. So let's see. That looks like about half a cup. see um, I'm going to use both uh, bottles we'll use Pat Max uh, caps but then I'm going to go ahead and use the second one with a different uh, yeast with so the, with yeah. the no this is for apple cider hard apple cider I'll do the, the mosquito good. repellent another yeah, time yeah I'll another I'll time Right now, I'm just recording this one. Okay. We want to go ahead and maybe leave about two or three inches for the head space. So, this is supposed to be making a hard cider in about 30 seconds. And then I'll just leave it there. Need a little bit of this. Let's clean it up now. So, according to Pat Max Home Brewing Caps uh, website, um, depending on the amount of days you leave it to ferment, um, by day four you should have about four to five. Uh, percent alcohol and if you leave it up to 10 days depending on the amount of sugar you put You'll have it at about 17 to 20 percent. I don't think that this thing will go 17 to 20 percent. I think if anything, it'll go maybe 8 percent So I'm going to leave it at that And then what I'm going to do first is go ahead and Shake up all the sugar so everything Mix as well, and I'm also going to go ahead and get a high hydrometer reading here since I'm going to use grab a sample, fill it up a little bit more. Okay, so we get the hydrometer and I pour just a little bit in here. Can get an initial reading on the cider. So the specific gravity fifteen. No, so what is that? 15 the balling so I'll remember that 15 
make sure that you don't put the sample back in the bottle because this is not um, sterilized. So now that I've gone ahead and did that, yeah. shake it some more. And I'm supposed to go ahead and put one eighth of a teaspoon of their yeast. Now I don't know what one eighth of a teaspoon is, so just get a teaspoon. That's 30 balls. Uh, okay, maybe that's a good one eighth right there. And what happens since my my spoon is a little bit wet since I sanitized it, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some apple juice. But make sure that all the yeast and, uh, and uh, yes, I'm recording. Can I grab something though? Really? Okay, so I wanna do all that now. So Diet Coke will have Pat Mac cap with Pat Max uh, yeast and I've sterilized the cap already and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. So Diet Coke again is uh, the Pat Mac uh, yeast. I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is the Lalvin uh, 71B-122. Um, this is uh, champagne yeast, I believe. So, this, this last one was kind of messy. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it directly into the bottle. I think that's one eighth of a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my cap again and shake it. So all the sugars in the bottom get mixed. And the apple juice. I'm recording. Uh -huh. Unless you wanna be on the TV. Where? Right there. Hello. Oh. <laughs> so that's that. And this is the Pat Max. Sound very important. Right here. So Diet Coke will be uh, so not Pat Max. For somebody. Okay. Not be the Pat Max uh, yeast. We'll see what the specific gravity and alcohol level of both. And I believe I put the same amount of sugar. So Pat Max, not Pat Max. And we'll put this somewhere in the dark right now. Temperature is pretty good. Um, we'll see this in five days and see uh, which one is stronger. All right, guys. And then real quick, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and make uh, a scoby for my kombucha. It's been a while since I've made kombucha. If you guys don't know what kombucha is, it's fermented tea. Now, I've tried different ways of doing the, the scoby. And three ways I've done it, according to the people's videos, failed. So um, I watched another person's video. They just got the kombucha, poured it in a mason jar. I'm maybe do it one third. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use the the O-ring and use a cheesecloth and put it up on top and leave it inside um, the cabinet for about five ten days, and I should have a nice thick scoby going on there um, and then from there I'll make kombucha. Alright guys, Pat Max home brewing caps.